Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Pokemon Swoosh. Last time we completed the gym challenge basically. Uh, we did the final uh, the final gym here in, I think it's Hammerlock is where we are? Hammerlock? Yeah, we did the final gym here in Hammerlock. We got the, I, I guess it's the dragon type badge, but it didn't really come up that much. It was, it was like the weather gym, it was weird. <laughs> but yeah, we got it. Okay, so now uh, we can go and do technically not the Elite Four, but basically like the Elite Four. Um, the, the last part of the game, it's a little bit different. Um, you'll see, you'll see. We're going to head over there now, which is this way. Get the train over to the final area. Wait up, Daniel, I'm coming too. I had Raihan beat in no time. Once I got my head on straight and stopped doubting every decision I made, that is. <laughs> You never stop nattering on through the entire battle. You're pretty different from the champion in that. Your strength is genuine, as proved by the dragon badge you won from me. It came at me with all the force of a raging storm. With all the force of the typhoon, with all the strength of a raging fire. And even I was as mysterious as the dark side of the moon. <laughs> even I was blown away. Listen up, you two. Battle your ways with the Champion Cup tournament to face Leon. One of you ought to. I reckon I'm still a favourite to win, but I'm up against my true rival, Danielle, who has never spoken in this game. So I'll bring out every last thing I learned during my battle with you, Raihan, to beat her. We're gonna move on, Danielle. The train's waiting. Alright then. Oh, we're on the train automatically. I was thinking I'd talk to some people at the station, but I didn't get that option. Do I have to sit with Hop? I don't- I don't want to. We're finally headed for Winden. The big tower, and the monorail. And Winden Stadium, where the whole of Galar- No, the whole world is gonna be watching us. Hey, uh, leave me alone, please. You get it, right? You and me are gonna make our match the- There, the greatest match there ever was. To catch them is my real test, to train them is my goal. <laughs> Okay, so this is, uh, Winden, I guess. I'm not sure why it didn't load during that cutscene, but it apparently it didn't. This is Route 10. It's like a wall made out of snow. Bet, that, bet there'll be ice-type Pokémon crawling out of the woodwork in a place like this. Okay, we're going to do Route 10 first. Come on, Danielle. Reckon we'll be able to train ourselves up to new heights here before the Champion Cup starts? I believe in myself and the Pokémon on my team, and I know we'll all get loads stronger. So I'm off. See you in Winden, mate. Okay, so the train doesn't actually go to Winden. It goes to here. Oh, I can sit down. Hang on, hang on. You can sit on benches in this game. Hang on, hang on. <gasps> oh, game of the year. Okay, I, I, I have so many... I had so many criticisms about this game, but now I love it. You can sit on benches. That, that's all I need. Yeah, I don't know why the train would go to here and not to... Uh, here. <laughs> that's just a very weird design decision. Like... If you think about previous games, like Gen 2, for example, there is a train, but the train takes you from someplace you have access to to someplace else you have access to, and it connects the two regions, and it, it makes sense, because you can't fly from one region to the other. Here, there's like, there's a train here and there, but the train lines aren't connected up. They just go to between some cities and some other cities, and then you have to walk the rest of the like, I understand that real trains are like that, but it seems like a train that goes directly to Winden would be the most logical type of train to have in the world. <laughs> Animax arrive! Uh, let's try to catch some of these, I guess. You can a wild Vanillux. Hello. I don't know what level you are. It's hailing. Oh. Oh, I don't want to go into combat if it's hailing. Uh, I'll just try throwing a, throwing a Great Ball and see how we go. There's a type of Pokeball that, uh, basically does, does more, um, like, that works really well on the first turn. Uh, I forget what it's called, like a Quick Ball or Fast Ball or something? Uh, let me see. I've been told that, uh, Snipe Shot is actually better than Liquidation because it is a special type rather than a physical. Um...
Huh. Like, I'm trying to catch it, so I'm not doing as much damage, but... Uh, it seems, they seem, seems like they're actually kicking my butt, despite the level difference. There we go. That's where, that's where I want you to be. Whoa! That's impressive. Uh, yeah, use an next Pokemon. I mean, I need something out there so I can try to catch it. Oh, come on. I don't really know what Mirror Coat does. Is it like a reflecting their attack sort of move? Is that why it's not failing? Because I keep throwing Pokeballs instead of attacking? Oh, come on! I'm just probably going to go back to the Pokemon Center once I've caught this thing. Because, uh, this isn't going well. Seriously? What's up, bro? Is it like a take a little bit of damage every turn sort of thing? There we go. Okay, so we want a name starting with V because that's my naming scheme. It's very creative. <laughs> Snowstorm Pokemon. People believe this Pokemon formed when two vanilla stuck together. Its body temperature is roughly 21 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know why it's giving me the temperature in Fahrenheit. Like, this is the Australian version and we use Celsius over here, so... Hmm. Yes, I'm going to give you a nickname. Uh, starting with V, of course, and I've been watching a lot of Crazy Ex-Girlfriends, so, uh... Let's go with... By the way, that show is really good. Uh, the title makes it sound, like, ableist and bad, but it's, like, attacking the trope of the Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. And it's really, really good. Also, it's a musical. <laughs> I love musicals. <laughs> okay, uh, we're just gonna... Go to a Pokemon Center. Immediately. <laughs> because, wow. <laughs> uh, that first couple of seconds there just messed us up. <laughs> I'm not sure why they didn't make the train stations Pokemon Centers, because you can just fly to them and you can fly to Pokemon Centers. It's just slowing you down. It's not actually, like... Making it more difficult to heal or anything. It's just wasting time. Oh uh, no, I did that already. I guess I should probably check this thing every now and then. Oh! I got a match! I got some milk! Looking forward to your next attempt. Okay, cool. Thank you. Alright, so now he's gonna fly back. Oh, I can't, actually. Okay, well, we'll go back to the train station and take the train again. <laughs> I, I assumed it would just let me fly back, but apparently it doesn't. That's kind of weird, actually. It doesn't really make it any harder, because... You don't need to go through any enemies or whatever to get back to the train station. You just go there. All sorts of people come to stations. Every day there's something happening. This job requires you to be alert. You need to dodge... P Pita? P P 
it's like pigeon doves, the pit of pit of droppings. Why? You you're in you you're behind like glass or whatever. How are the birds gonna get in there? I accidentally went outside. I was trying to talk to some other people. <laughs> Hello. Black's all about restaurant hopping. Eat all the restaurants on the Galar Railway until I drop. Oh, I mean, the Galar Railway is barely connected, so, like, you're gonna drop pretty quickly. Or, like, run out of restaurants, either way. Like, if you have a look at it here, there's a road, a railway here that goes into this sort of tunnel region, and then that comes out here, and it ends. You can't actually get the train from there up to here. You have to walk. And then... Like, it, I can see, like, these tunnels on the map that go all the way, but it, it doesn't actually go all the way. <laughs> it, I, I, it's so confusing. Uh, hello. Today's meal's even better than yesterday's. Well, I wasn't here yesterday, so... I can't really make a comparison, but I'll, I'll believe you. Hello, little birdie. I hope my friend gets here soon. I think Pitov is aiming for my food. And use all items? Yeah, you're a Pokemon art. Uh, you have a pretty decent stock of different things, actually. I figured you'd be a bit limited because you're, like, at a train station, but no. Hello. Oh, hey, the Pokemon Journal. Let's pick up the latest edition. This is my this is my favorite, like, trainer, trainer model in this game. This one is adorable. Look how cute. Oh, big smile. And the little freckles. Oh, just, just, just so adorable. Uh, can I use these vending machines? Yeah, I can get fresh water, soda pop, and lemonade. But I'm not thirsty. Does this machine give me anything? Nope, I can't get food. Only, only refreshment. Okay, so it does connect up all the different stations, but only once you've been to them. Which is not how a train station works. <laughs> Wonder what scenery would appear if all the snow on Route 10 melted away. Alright, uh, on to Winden. It's like, yeah, if you look at the map that I was just looking at, you can see that, like, from here, where we are, there's this dotted line that goes all the way up to Winden. But you can't take that route, even though it seems to exist. You just have to walk. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, hello. Uh, hello, Snubber, Snoba, friend. Hailing. Uh, I don't have one of these yet, so I guess I'll try to catch you. Um. Oh, that's pretty good, yeah. What? What was that? <laughs> now I want to do, like, barely any damage if I can. Uh, I can just try, because you're in the red. It might work. Oh, it works. I guess Snova or Snover is high, easier to catch. <sighs> the berries that grow around its belly are like uh, ice pop. Galarian Darumica absolutely love these berries. I, I don't I don't know what a Darumica is either. I assume it's a reference to the Daruma, which is like a, a Japanese cultural toy. Sort of, sort of toy. It's the deal with the Daruma is like it represents like a life goal, and you get one to represent the fact that you want to achieve a life goal, and it, it's it's cool. Um, what am I gonna call you? I start with an S because that's my that's my convention. That just got into my head. I don't know if that's, like, a Final Fantasy thing or something else. I don't really know Final Fantasy, but it's, it's a name. Oh, hello. Do you have any injured Pokemon? I'm a doctor. I do, actually. Do you do you want to heal? Oh. Oh, we're fighting. Okay. Gardevoir. Oh, hey, pretty. Gardevoir is beautiful. Uh, 
I'm gonna U-turn just so I can get uh, Cynthia out of the way. I also did quite a lot of damage, so we should be should be doing fine. Go, Charles. Puppy. Raining kiss. Is that fairy type? Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot of damage. I'm not sure why they're doing so much when they're like quite a bit lower level than I am. Uh, none of these are super effective. Mm, that did that did trick. Ba -ba What's this? What's this? My Pokemon ended up injured. Hey, do you want to heal my Pokemon? You're, you're a doctor. Young trainer, you like you have probably seen many injured Pokemon. Must be pretty tough. Okay, you're not going to help at all. Even though you are, as you claim, a doctor. Thanks. Uh, hello. Oh, I accidentally rode past you. Uh, anything over there? I wonder if I could move the camera, but I can't. I get more nervous about battles than work. Office, office worker Ronald. He was taking a selfie right now. As far as I can tell. <laughs> hey, Weavile. Yeah. Uh, pressure? I think that means you use more PP or something. I'm good. Hey, Claydol. I'm probably you like psychic or something, I think. Maybe a ground? Oh. Oh, I don't like the look of that. Level 49. When I do business, I'm called a businessman. So when I battle, should I be called a battleman? N no. N no. N no. No, the words you're looking for are worker and fighter. I'm taking a lot more damage here than I really probably ought to be. Uh, let me just switch through here. Let's say. Trainer tips. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't care. Oh, Dynamaxing doesn't actually make them bigger? It just makes them look bigger. <laughs> okay. I'll believe that. 
I won't. I, I don't. I don't believe that. You turn. Yeah, I did the trick. Uh, maybe? I think we're all sent, like, makes them change off... Yeah, that changes what they have to... What, uh... Bleh. Target is scared off and they have to put out a different Pokémon. Yeah, I think it's random which one gets put out. I might replace Flame Wheel? Or maybe Takedown? Maybe Crunch? I don't know, I like having type coverage. Uh... I might take... I might drop Takedown. Taking so much damage. Uh. You know the old legend says Galar is doomed if Corviknight ever disappear? I mean, I wouldn't be able to fly, so that would be a problem. Cabby Jeffrey. Hey, Jeffrey. Oh, you have a Corvin, right? I guess that makes sense. Whee! Oh, I'm too nervous to eat berries. Oh, no. I was gonna eat all the berries, but now I can't. Yeah, bite that bird. Oh. Uh, that's not good. Okay, my attack grows sharply, so I'll give it another try and see if that makes it better. I am confused, though. Oh, maybe? Yeah, I don't think I'm well-equipped well for this fight. I was hoping that would be more effective than it was. It was cool, though. Okay, I'm just going to switch out for Peter for someone else. Uh, yeah, let's try Gareth. You're a little low level, but, like, your attacks are good, so... Little, little puppy. Don't die, don't die. Okay, cool. I guess Corviknight is like ice type? I, I don't know. Level up. Flygon. Flygon is something. Bug or something? Oop. Sorry, Gareth. I may be underleveled for this area. I'm kind of getting my butt kicked here. Although I am higher level than everything I'm facing, so I, I don't really get it. I actually don't know that much about the old Corbinite legend. Alright then, dude. I don't particularly care about Mr. Mimes, I'm just gonna ignore that. Oh, come on, you're off screen! I don't really want to battle either! Piker Donald. 
Gigalith. That's truly rock type. I'm gonna send over Peter. Uh, uh. Downstream? Oh. Oh, okay. So now it's not hailing. Okay, water is really good against rocks, so if I just switch out to something like, uh, probably Cynthia is my best choice here. And I can just do, like, a snipe shot. And my HP is kind of low, so Torrent is powering it up as well. Although, that might only be in red, I'm not sure. Uh, Rhydon, I think, is also Rock? That's a Gen 1 Pokemon. I have no excuse for not knowing this, but I don't. I don't know this. <laughs> well, I worked, so I, I guess I was right. <laughs> I think I got mixed up somewhere around my first Pokemon. Okay, uh, I'm going to put Cynthia in the lead again, and I'm also going to probably give her some potions or something, because, yeah. Okay, that should do it. The way you carry yourself. You are something. What, what, why do I have to fight these trainers who are off-screen? Why is it? Why was it designed this way? You're, you're not normally supposed to fight trainers if you can't see them. Okay, you are not a rock. You are... Uh, like a snowman. <laughs> hmm. I don't really have any strong fire types right now. It should be probably the strongest move to use against you, but let's try snipe shot and just see how we go. Oh, uh, I see. I see how it is. Phalanx. I, I, I know Phalanx, but I forget what types they are. I think we caught one earlier. Are they bugs? Maybe? I should probably just look up the types of Pokemon as I'm playing, but... Uh, Graplocked. I, I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's an octopus, of course. I've apparently faced one before, but I can't remember it. <laughs> I'm guessing it's like fighting type and water, maybe? It makes sense, right? Oh, your Pokemon are simply marvelous. Alright then. I have to fight these people even though I'm on the opposite side as well, aren't I? This is very fillery, by the way. Uh, just giving me this long corridor of unavoidable battles. It's been a while. I'm glad we can meet up again. Let's see how strong you've gotten. Great Pokemon and trainers are really shine with something special when they're on camera. Like, it feels like they're stalling me because they didn't have enough time to finish this area. Heliolisk and Clinklang. Clinklang is steel, I think?
Try that and see how we go. Oh my god. Bye, Heliolisk. Okay, he also is relatively not dead yet. Uh, I guess you? Uh, you're the one that's already out. You? Let's go, Natalie. Noivern? Oh, like a, like a big bat? Okay. Oh no. Oh, it's a repeated attack? Oh no. Oh no. Tailwind? What does that do? No idea. Oh, a little, a little electric friend. Oh my god. I may lose this battle. Or use some re revives and stuff, maybe. Really hate hail. It takes so long. <sighs> yeah, I'm I'm getting my butt kicked here. Uh... Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> oh no. Yes, I scurry back to the Pokemon Center. That's the first time this has happened in, in this playthrough. I'm good. I do want to go to the shop over here, though. Uh, it's the right one. Oh, this is where the special kinds of balls are. Uh, none of those help me, though. I don't want any of that stuff. Wait. Did neither of you have basic items? Oh, I talked to the wrong person. I see. Okay. Uh... Stock up on those.
Got plenty of po uh, potions. I really wish I could buy ethers and stuff, but you can't for some reason. A really weird design decision. Okay, well, uh, we're at about half past now, so I think I'll, I, I mean, I've played for about a half hour, I mean, I phrased that weirdly. Uh, I think we're gonna uh, leave it off for now, and next time we will maybe go all the way through Route 10. Oh, jeez. That, that's a bit of a difficulty spike, which is kind of neat. Also very annoying, because... What? <laughs> And also, the actual numbers, like, levels and stuff, don't seem to match the difficulty spike. Um... Like, my starter is still really overleveled compared to what I'm fighting, but I'm getting my butt kicked. I understand, you know, the type advantages are really good and stuff, but... It seems like they're better than I was anticipating, if that makes sense. Um... So yeah, I'm just gonna chuck down a save now, and next time... We're gonna head back to Route 10 and maybe get through it this time. I don't think it's very well designed that there's basically a corridor with a bunch of unavoidable battles in a row. Uh, I understand that that's essentially what the Elite Four are, but they're a bit different. You want to know if your Pokemon have really been giving it their best effort? Yeah, sure. Uh, what does this do? Oh! Oh, I see. Oh, hang on, are you telling me... Hmm. Is this like, are you like the IV person, or something like that? Okay, I'll, sh I'll show you, uh, Cynthia and see what you say. That Pokémon. Yeah, because I can still give a bit more. I, I think that's determining how ma many effort values they have, like whether it's maxed out yet or not. I think. You and your Pokémon have potential to become great friends. If Pokémon hold this side of your friendship may grow even stronger. A Soothe Bell. Thank you. I didn't notice I could go into this house before. <laughs> Would you like me to see if Pokémon are feeling friendly towards you? Sure. You and Cynthia. Seems like you're pretty good friends. Still, I bet you become even closer. I don't know if that matters at all, because Return isn't in the game anymore. Uh, which is the main reason you want high friendship, so... I, I don't know. But okay, yeah, that house there is the house that has all of... all of those things in it. <laughs> apparently. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna save and quit now, and next time... Next time we will hopefully get through Route 10. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> oh, jeez. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!